What's happening guys and welcome back to the channel for today's video We're gonna be checking out the toy hacks upgrade for the Transformers Rise of the Beasts studio series Leader class scourge now as you guys all know I don't tend to dabble in stickers too much just as overall I'm not a huge fan of them But one thing which I was a massive fan of would be scourge from the Transformers Rise of the Beast movie I thought he was an amazing villain and his studio series release for the most part was also pretty well done I mean it had a few inaccuracies in terms of the way the shoulders and the head were designed but for the most part for a figure which was clearly planned way ahead of the movie I definitely think they did a decent job but much like all of the studio series figures he was significantly lacking in the paint department and when you check him out when you see him in the movie he definitely has a lot of detail I mean first of all he appeared to be a lot more rusty than how the studio series version kind of looks and when he would kind of fire himself up to take out the Autobots or the Maximals he had quite a lot of kind of burning orange so for example the entire blade when he would deploy it would illuminate and it would look so sick not to mention he also had a lot more faction insignias kind of stamped throughout his robot mode than as opposed to just the ones that we have primarily here in the chest of the robot mode so those are all things which I'm hoping this upgrade kit will fix and also there are quite a few details which whilst look awesome in terms of sculpting they're not picked out with any paint so I also think a few stickers could definitely spruce up some of the sharper details of the sculpt so with all that being said let's get Scourge from looking like this to bang looking like this so here we have scourge with the toy hacks upgrades and he looks so awesome now first of all unfortunately there are no stickers for the head sculpt i was kind of hoping that they would have brought out a massive one to kind of wrap around the neck piece to make this look rusty to match the details that we have here for the shoulders but the stickers that we do have do wonders for this guy i mean he really now does look awesome i like the rust details that you can kind of see here for these air filters you'll see these a little more once we transform him into vehicle mode but check out all of the additional kind of metallic lights that we now have on this bumper piece and not to mention that every single insignia behind this piece has also had a sticker applied over the top to make it appear reflective to match what we saw in the movie which I just think is so awesome and we also have quite a few additional insignias so for example we have an Autobot one there we have one here along the side which is a maximal insignia and I believe a Predacon insignia up there so that is really awesome there are also quite a few additional ones here on the sides of his hips so that's great and as I mentioned previously there are stickers which amplify the sculpt work so for example the trailer hitch now looks a thousand times nicer than how it originally appeared and I love the crotch detailing that we have and there's also quite a lot of stickers kind of embedded here on the side of Scourge's legs so for example these are three individual components but really do just make him look way more detailed in my opinion and pretty much the entire base of the foot has had this additional rusted detail applied over the top which again I just find to match what we saw in the movie and one of the all-time biggest upgrades this set has going for it would be be his energized blade I mean this is an effect which I don't think personally I would have been able to replicate with paint so it is so awesome they brought this upgrade out because this really does look very accurate to when he takes out ape link and when he's just about to kind of fight off against mirage so yeah that looks fantastic and check out how shimmery that is so that's really awesome unfortunately there aren't too many sticker upgrades for the actual claw I was hoping that much like you guys will see when we transform him in vehicle mode that they could have added a few of these kind of electrified highlights to the inside of that claw for whatever reason they decided not to which I do think is a little missed opportunity but instead they did completely deck out the arm cannon so that looks fantastic as you guys can see all of these tiny little ridges now have additional kind of metallic silver highlights over the top so yeah personally I really do think this does wonders for the sculpt but let's check him out in his vehicle mode so up first to kind of give you guys a before and after here we have scourge in his truck mode before any of the upgrades and it's pretty good you know much like the robot mode the details are definitely there but they could be in need of a bit of highlighting especially in terms of the front end of the truck i mean in the movie i believe all of the insignias were kind of this super sick metallic color so it was a shame to see hasbro basically just wash the entire front part of the grill in the same color meaning that these details unfortunately did kind of get washed out but i've always been a huge fan of the translucent orange plastic i really like the details that we have here along the side of the truck so let's see what toy axe can do to spice this up and bang here we have scourge fully upgraded and spice things up they did as this guy looks great so as we check out the front end of the truck it is so awesome to see every single one of those insignias fully decked out with a sticker because now it makes it so much easier to actually find out as to what faction they were aligned with so for example you can clearly now pick out some of those wrecker insignias the maximal decepticon and autobot ones i'm still not too familiar with that one that kind of looks like a skeleton face if you guys know then 
then definitely be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. But yeah, the front end of the truck looks so awesome. And I personally love the electrified effect that we now have here for the windows as well as the windscreen. This looks awesome. In terms of the sticker quality, I think for the most part, it's pretty good. I mean, as I mentioned previously, I'm no expert at all when it does come to stickers. At the time of recording this, all of the stickers do now appear to have kind of set in their place and they ain't sliding off. So that's pretty good. But we get the Autobot insignia there for the side of what originally was his hip. I really like the rust detail that we have there. I mean, it definitely does look really awesome, but it took a long time. I mean, I think in total, this took me about three and a half hours, which is crazy, especially considering that when you look at it, there doesn't appear to be too many stickers, but trust me, there was a lot. So if you have the patience of the saint, then I would recommend to go for it. I may check out a few more of these in the future, especially for the Rise of the Beast movie line. So be sure to stay tuned to that. But you guys let me know down in the comment section below. What do you think of these sticker upgrades for Scourge and sticker upgrades in general? Would you like to see more of them featured on the channel? And until my next video, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.